Okay. Rolling. Rolling. Okay. Hmm. Okay. So, Natasha, with, with this movie, seeing a younger version of yourself, was it a little unnerving for you? That was really fun. Hmm. That was really fun, and I think the match was incredible. Oh. And I think we had a lot of the same qualities. Was that was very neat too, actually. Yeah, so, yeah it was great. I and mean, we got along very well. I mean, I think we complimented each other in the film. Okay. Now, with your modeling background, I'm just curious. How often do people recognize you from the modeling, or do you just get looks from people going, "Don't I know you from somewhere?" Yeah, yeah I, I, I get more of that than anything else. Like, yeah. I'm sure we know each other, but you know, and I, I'm very good with faces, so I'm sure we don't. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, but uh, um, I got a little bit of that. But honestly, I really don't look like myself in photographs at all. Yeah. I look like somebody completely different. I think it'll be m much more recognizable in film because I think I look a lot more like me. Yeah. But um, in um, in photographs, nobody ever recognized me. I changed so much, you know. Well, when you left Alberta, I mean, Fort McMurray is a pretty small town, mm -hmm. pretty isolated. How concerned was your family, and what kind of advice did they give you when you uh, left uh, to pursue the modeling? My mother just cried a lot. My father was like, <laughs> my father was funny because he nobody wanted me to leave at all, and I was just kind of a rebel, and I was going, and that's all there was to it. Uh, but uh, my father said, if you're leaving, don't come back, you know what I mean? If you think you're going to go and you think you can do this, fine, but you're not coming back. But of course, I got over there and I was really upset and I was crying. He's like, there's a ticket at the airport, you know? Uh, no, they were cool. They were very, they were all right with it. I mean, you do a great job in this movie. I mean, Thank it was you. really, really good. It really affected like men and women. Yeah. But, but I'm curious, did you, I mean, people were going to talk about the nudity in the film, but like what kind of reservations did you have about this? Um, I just didn't want it to look vulgar in any way, and that was my biggest concern. And um, I was very comfortable with doing nude scenes that were casual, and it, you're not, I'm not focusing on my body and like, you know what I mean? It's not about that. It's about just being in a natural form, natural state. Um, so I think, I, you know, I really didn't have many reservations about it. I, of course, didn't want pubic hair to be yeah. all over, you know, that kind of thing, you know, yeah. <laughs> basic kind yeah. of things. Yeah. Does does the crew? I mean, how understanding is the crew, and do they become blasé about it as the things go on? Yeah, well, you know, everybody's done it so many times that, especially the crew. I mean, more than me, they've done it so many times. They've seen it so many times. It's just not a big issue anymore yeah. for them. You know, it really isn't. And I'm sure maybe they, just, you know, use that as an excuse from yeah. some, <laughs> time to time. But uh, they were very, very cool, yeah. and you know, we we black everything out yeah. and. Uh, it was it was very simple, and they were so nice about everything that it was just it was easy. No, I know certain scenes would be more problematic than others. I would not think shooting in a hot tub would be a dangerous ordeal. But what uh, what kind of problems did the hot tub present? <laughs> the hot tub, boy, I got lots of cuts in that hot tub. <laughs> they made that hot tub. It's funny you know about that. <laughs> uh, they made that hot tub. Um, because they had to like do some, under, you know, some interior. I don't even know all these shots mm -hmm. language, you know. But uh, they made the hot tub, and I guess the tiles started to come up because they had all the bubbles coming from normally, and you know, you have bubbles coming out from the sides or jets or whatever. But they had all these little bubbles coming up, and the tiles just started falling apart. You know, we were getting kind of rough in the hot tub and stuff, so <laughs> they were breaking off and like cutting us up. And then every time you have to come and get this new skin put on, you know, this bandages and. Well, I mean, in the day of age, you got to be careful with that kind of stuff. So it was like a real pain in the ass after a while. It was really a pain. You know, uh, Glenn Close said after Fatal Attraction came out that men looked at her with a little bit of fear in their eyes. Mm -hmm. uh, what are you anticipating with this movie? Well, it's funny. I just, I, I, I used to joke and say I'm not, I'm not going to get a boyfriend after this show. But now I've realized that some people really like. There was a couple people that went to the screening and they, they saw me afterwards and they said when they saw me, they kind of like, were a little stand backish, you know. And I'm like, wow, it's really going to affect people like that. That's interesting. So, I don't know. I guess I won't have that many friends. And one quick final question. I really liked you as a brunette in this movie. You did? Uh, you know, what, kind of, what kind of reactions did you get from the crew when you showed up with the uh, different hair coloring? A lot of people were telling me, you should be a brunette. You should go brunette, you know? And then some people, of course, were saying no. no. But I, I really got mixed things on it. Nobody hated it, but a lot of people were, like, really into it. <laughs> yeah. I liked it. I looked like my mother. 
Yeah, it's pretty weird. Great. All right. Thanks very much. A pleasure. I'm nice seeing how, how charming you are, and then they're right. You. There, so. Thank you. Yeah.